Okay, so very good evening to you guys. Welcome to our pop-up smartphone quiz for this uh, Tuesday evening. Good to have you here with us. We're going to begin in just a couple of minutes. Nice attendance so far. 51 teams connected and ready to play this, our free general knowledge quiz. Hope you're all doing well. Also, while we have you there, we're going to let you know about uh, some more quizzes coming up. Keep an eye on the channel as well. We have uh, three quizzes, I think, to go this week. Thursday night is our new residency. This is where you will find me every Thursday night for the rest of the year. Okay, that's a pay-to-play quiz. It's five euros per person. And 25% of the entrance fees goes back out to the winning team. Okay, and we're holding around 60 to 70 euros for the winners at the moment. But with your help, we can increase that by getting more people involved in this quiz, if you're enjoying it, that is. Some great feedback coming into us as well through social media and through emails and all sorts of stuff saying, thanks, John. We're enjoying your quiz. Thank you for the compliments, guys. Good to know. We're appreciated. 52 of you connected and ready to play. I've got 80 questions, I think, on board. And uh, plenty of suggestions for some more themed quizzes. Later on in the week, as I said, we have the Thursday Night General Knowledge Quiz. Uh, what have you then? Uh, Saturday, we have a private uh, booking. It is a fundraiser quiz, but I think they're going to invite as many people as they can into that. There's going to be some local prizes and vouchers to be won for that. More about those details when we get them. Um, then on Sunday, we have a themed round that some of you have been asking for as a Father Ted quiz. That's going to be happening at 7 o'clock, I think, on Sunday. Uh, at the moment, it's sitting as a five euros per person playing, but we did put out the challenge to you guys if you could help us uh, get the subscriptions up to a thousand, which were a quarter of the way there already, that we'd make the quiz free and I would put up 100 euro prize money. So you have between now and Sunday morning to uh, try and help us achieve that by getting your friends involved. Free quiz, Father Ted, 100 euro cash prize. So if you want to help us with that, We'll see if we can make it a free one. And uh, that'll do it for this week. Uh, we'll have updates then on Monday for the ones that are following that week. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to crack on with tonight's quiz. Hope you can all hear us okay. It's the very best of luck to all of you tonight. Let's crack on with tonight's quiz. Here we go. Multiple choice, first letter of your answer, numbers, pictures. This one is multiple choice. In 2019, who won an Oscar and a BAFTA and three Grammys in the Golden Globe? Pharrell Williams, Lady Gaga, Brian May. So I'm not sure if we've used some of these questions or not, but you can let me know if we have. Right, as soon as all teams have locked in their answer, the countdown finishes. Other than that, it's 30 second wait. 52 correct answers. It is Lady Gaga. All right, top five teams on the scoreboard will be shown on this screen here. All other scores, you will see them, your own scores, on the bottom right hand of the Kahoot app. First letter. I'm not sure did we have these questions already could someone let us know in the in the chat did we do these questions if not i do have a backup quiz here as well this is the influenza one can be spread by humans by what type of creature Okay, I've been told we had this one last Sunday, did we? Let's have a look at this. We might be able to swap around the quiz here, so if you bear with us in just a moment. I think we had this one, all right. Birds is the correct answer here. So if you folks don't mind bearing with me just one minute, we're going to swap this quiz around. Stay with us. We're going to get uh, another quiz up on the screen. Stay with us.
Okay, so we have another one here for you guys. I might get you to put in this pin number. Apologies for that. We had a quiz that we used already. So if you don't mind uh, entering the new pin number and we'll get the game underway in just a second. Apologies once again, we had a quiz that we've only asked a couple of days ago. Must hit the wrong button there. 80 fresh questions here for us, guys. more teams this time around as well which is good okay looks like all teams are in at this stage and we might find that there may be a few more join us as the night goes on right so let's begin here we go that's today's date isn't it okay what type of weapon is a cutlass is it a catapult, cannon, spear, or is it sword? Okay, let's have a look at some of those answers. 42 answering correctly with a sword. Well done, 42 teams. Right, back to square one. Five teams on the scoreboard. Here we go. Multiple choice. In which decade was the summer of love? Was it the 1930s, the 1920s, the 1960s, the 1950s? Okay, 53 correct answers with the 1960s. Okay, question three, multiple choice. Arlington National Cemetery is adjacent to which of these cities is it Los Angeles, Washington, New York, Chicago? Forty-six correct answers with Washington. Well Cherry Mountain in the lead. Okay, question four. What kind of bird is a lovebird? Is it a parrot? Is it a toucan? Is it a hummingbird? Or is it a bird of paradise? Nineteen great answers with parrots. New leaders. We'll back. KC in second. Burn in third. What day is it? Is fourth. And what's this? Is in fifth. Country Mark is the highest climber. All of a choice. What colour is the edible flesh of a coconut? 
is it? Green, purple, black, white. So, what colour is the edible flesh of a coconut? Fastest correct answers, of course, get more points than ones that delay. Okay, keep that in mind. Additional bonuses for questions that you get continuously correct. Correct answers, no one incorrect. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, so question uh, number six, multiple choice in phonetic. Which word follows Oscar? Is it Peter? Is it Pepper? Is it Papa? Is it Pointer? Three correct answers. It is Papa. Ten teams said Peter. Okay, let's have a look. Top. Okay, all of these teams are moving up a position here. Casey in the lead. What about choice? In which country is the resort of Grindelwald? Is it Switzerland, Austria, France, or Italy? Six correct answers with Switzerland. Casey okay, so drops down a position. What day is it is in the lead? Okay, question eight, multiple choice. What is the meaning of the French word rue? Is it mountain, street, bread, ice cream? So what is the meaning of the French word rue? Mountain, street, bread, ice cream. Seven correct answers with the street. The correct answer street. Top five stay as they are. First letter of your answer. Whose logo is this? All we need is the first letter of your answer. Do not spell it out. Well, you can, but you'd be probably losing points because we reward most points for speed. So just the first letter of your answer when it comes to these open questions. So here it is P for Pepsi and someone went with F. Two teams spelling it out. As I said, we're going to have a few more of these open style questions. We'll only be looking for the first set of your answer and we'll give in more points for the faster you answer. So that would be my advice, just give me the first letter. Question 10, multiple choice in the Mediterranean island of Elba belongs to... Is it Bulgaria, Greece, Italy, or France? Twenty-five correct answers. It is Italy. KC in the lead. Three players have reached an answer streak of six now. 
Oliver Choice, The Germans, is a classic episode of which sitcom is it? Only Fools and Horses, Faulty Towers, Porridge, Dad's Army. Forty-eight correct answers with faulty towers. Correct answer, well done. Okay, the top five is bouncing around tonight, a lot more than usual. Multiple choice. What's the name of the world's oldest tree? Is it Adam, Methuselah, Abraham, Jacob? Twenty-six great answers with Methuselah. That will be forty-four in third place. Here we go. Question thirteen. Multiple choice. Which of these words can mean a problem? Is it snag, flag, rag, lag? Fifty-four of you answered correctly with snags. Correct answer. Country Mac is the highest. Answer streak of thirteen. He's in first place. Or, or they, or she. Who knows? Multiple choice. Little big painting. That's a work by which artist? Is it Jasper Johns? Is it David Hockney? Is it Roy Lichtenstein? Is it Jackson Pollock? Twenty-seven correct answers with Roy. Twenty-seven. Any changes? Yes. Three teams moving up positions. Multiple choice. What's milk when it has some of its cream removed? Is it semi-detached? Is it semi-skimmed? Is it semi-precious? Is it semi-retired? Fifty-seven correct answers. Three teams moving up. And that is because of speed, I presume. What's the abbreviation P and P stand for? Is it preserving and pickling? Is it pictures and paneling? Is it paint and papering? Is it postage and packaging? Fifty-seven correct answers. Top five stay as they are. Well, of a choice, the Pyrenees mountain range is on what continent? Is it Africa, Europe, Asia, South America?
41 correct answers with Europe is the correct answer. Country Mac in the lead. Which is a container designed for soups? Multiple choices here. Turing, colander, uh, cobbler, or chuck. Two correct answers. Uh, what day it is went into uh, second place on that one. <clears throat> Multiple choice. Which chemical element has the symbol CU? Is it carbon? Chlorum? Is it copper? Is it calcium? Three correct answers with copper is the correct answer. Copper. What's this into second place? Swapping places with third. Amber Levine was born where? Here's your choices. It is it South Africa, Australia, Scotland, Canada. Okay, 50 correct answers with Canada for said Scotland. Okay, that changes four teams moving up positions here. Multiple choice, which is a higher, highly desirable job. Is it pear job, plum job, apple job, or is it banana job? Thirty-three correct answers with plump job. Okay, see the third. Here we go. Question twenty-two. Which of these birds is flightless? Is it the cassowary? Is it the coot, the crow, cockatoo? Thirty-one correct answers here. Okay, question twenty-three. Which of these has the highest population? Is it United States, Brazil, Nigeria, Russia? answer here it is United States is the correct answer <clears throat> okay some changes top five multiple choice China's first Formula One was in which city Beijing Shanghai works is it Hong Kong
42 correct answers. Shanghai. Dinner surprise into third, KC into fourth. Model of a choice, the body is which model's nickname? Is it Island? Is it Naomi Campbell? Is it Claudia Schiffer? Is it Ella McPherson? Forty-six correct answers. Ella McPherson is the correct answer. All of a choice. If something is described as skid hoof, is it uh, crooked? Is it mouldy? Is it smelly? Is it hot? Twelve correct answers. Crooked. Casey into third. Multiple choice. Which of these is an attachment for a hair dryer? Infuser, diffuser, uh, suffuser, or refuser? Forty-seven diffuser is the correct answer. Okay, question twenty-eight. Which was a UK number one for Roxy Music in nineteen eighty-one? Is it Crazy Guy, Happy Guy, Jealous Guy, or My Guy? So, which of those was a UK number one for Roxy Music in nineteen eighty-one? Crazy Guy, Happy Guy, Jealous Guy, My Guy. Thirty correct answers with jealous guy. What day is it? Moving into second place with that one. <clears throat> Question twenty-one. Nine. Uh, which city was tennis player Andre Agassi born? Was it New York, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Chicago? Twenty-two correct answers with Las Vegas. Two teams moving up positions here. Megatron is back with an answer streak of three. Multiple choice. What is considered Earth's sister planet? Is it Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars? So what is considered Earth's sister planet? Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars. Thirty correct answers with Venus. Tinder surprise, not one of the teams that had that correct. Here's question thirty-one. Once Oscar statuettes were made from what? Is it rubber, glass, wood, plastic?
19 correct answers with uh, plastic. Okay, here is question 32. In what game might you call D4? Is it Backgammon, Battleship, Super Mario, Buckaroo? So what game might you call D4? Backgammon, Battleship, Super Mario, Buckaroo? Six correct answers with Battleship. No changes at the top five, anyway. What sort of person might refer to as a schmuck? Is it a fool, a glutton, is it a liar, is it overrated? Three correct answers here with fool. Okay, question 34, multiple choice. What did James Ross discover in 1831? Was it magnetic North Pole, equator North Pole, geographical North Pole, or geographical North Pole? Twenty-six correct answers. Magnetic North Pole. Leaders didn't have this one right. No points changing there. Okay, question thirty-five. How many years separate the first and the last moonwalks? Nine, five, seven, three. So how many years separate the first and last moonwalks? Okay, um, four of you answered correctly, it is three. Multiple choice, what does the Spanish word amigo mean? Is it wife, doctor, friend, employer? So what does the Spanish word amigo mean? Is it wife, doctor, friend, employer? Fifteen correct answers with a friend. What day is it today? Moves into second place. Uh, answer streak of seven, though. On seven correct answers in a row. Multiple choice. What is the plural form of this? Is it tense, those, these, themselves? Six answering correctly. These is the correct answer. Okay, question 38. Which was a hit for Cher in 1990? Is it just like Butch Cassidy? Is it just like Jesse James? Just like Ned Kelly? Just like Billy the Kid? Forty-six correct answers, just like Jesse James. Correct answer. 
Okay, question 39. The Hamlet Prize. That is, uh, to which type of writer is it? A horror, romance, sci-fi or crime? Twenty-seven correct answers with crime. Okay, see into third here. Which war film was set most recently? Is it Platoon, Command Day, The Longest Day, Mash? Eleven correct answers. It is platoon is the correct answer. What day is it? Had that one correct. These are the scores, folks, at the halfway point. Uh, take a look at it. We're going to take a short break. We're back. We're going to just top up the drinks here, and we're back with the next uh, forty questions. Okay, back soon. Back shortly, questions on the way to the second part of tonight's quiz question, 41 on the way.
Okay, so on we continue. So, with that quiz for the second part, here we go. Multiple choice. Quinn C is a form of what condition? Is it tonsillitis, erectile dysfunction, frostbite, or is it gout? Twenty-three correct answers with tonsillitis. Our leaders didn't get that one correct, but it looks a bit small. Level choice: what? Which is a kind of military footwear? Is it a Joe boot, a gym boot, a Jack boot, John boot? Thirty-five correct answers here. It is a jackboot. Tinder surprise as a streak with four correct answers in a row. The good news is an edition of which book? Is it the Highway Code, the Oxford Dictionary, the Encyclopedia Britannica, or is it the Holy Bible? Forty-five correct answers here with the Holy Bible. Ten players have reached an answer streak of three in a row. Which of these is a landlocked U.S. state? Is it Texas, Colorado, California, Florida? So which of these is a landlocked U.S. state? Texas, Colorado, California, Florida. Thirty-four correct answers. Colorado is the correct answer. Question forty-five. Which of these was a ringtone in the charts in two thousand and five? Is it the doggy badger? Is it the loopy newt? Is it the crazy frog or the wackety otter? Fifty-three of you answered this correctly. We didn't need the full countdown. Once all teams have locked in their answer, the countdown stops. Fifty-three correct answers. Well done. PS is back in the game. Question 46. Who managed Newcastle United from 1992 to 1997? Was it Kevin Keegan, Kenny Dalglish, Ruud Hollett, John Cusack? Or Toshak, should I say? John Toshak. Which of those managed Newcastle from 92 until 97? Forty-four correct answers. It is Kevin Keegan. That's the correct answer, Kevin Keegan. Country back into Fort. Uh, who is associated, uh, or which is associated with Moya and Shannon? Is it beer, sherry, whiskey, champagne?
51, it is Champagne. One team went with Sherry. Okay, question 48. Harry Kewell joined which club in 2003? Aston Villa, Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United. Harry Kewell joined which club in 2003? Is it Villa, Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United? Thirty-nine correct answers with uh, Liverpool's correct answer. A and D is the highest climber, which is worn during exercise. Spacesuit, lounge suit, track suit, lawsuit. Fastest answer gets uh, the most points. Too, thankfully answering correctly with tracksuit. Terry Big Bees is the highest climber. Which is the nickname for a diamond? Is it a sheener? Is it a glinter? A glosser? A sparkler? Fifty-two correct answers here. Firefly Funhouse is waiting to come back three in a row. What day is it in the lead? Ostriches are native to which con continent? Ostriches are native to which continent? South America, Asia, Africa, Europe. Thirty-five correct answers with Africa is the correct option. Question fifty-two: Which does an artist use to paint? Is it oils, diesels, petrols, fossil fuels? Three correct answers with oils. Okay, question 53. JFK was assassinated in which of these states? Illinois, California, Texas, New York. Correct answers with Texas. Okay, multiple choice. Which of these is an album by U2? Is it Riddle and Hope? Is it Rattle and Rum? Is it Rustle and Hide? Is it Razzle and Hush? Forty-three correct answers. Rattle and hum. Okay, let's have a look. Top five staying as they are. What symbol is used to identify a pharmacy in France? Is it a blue cross, yellow cross, black cross, green cross? So 
So what symbol is used to identify a pharmacy in France? Blue cross, yellow cross, black cross, green cross. Twenty-eight correct answers with the green cross. Leaders didn't have that one. Neither did fifth place as well. Here's the first letter of your answer. Name this storybook character. First letter of your answer is all we need. No need to spell out the full thing. First letter. Name this storybook character. Hmm. This has got a few head scratching. No answers yet. Okay, we're getting them in here now. It is B. Billy Bunter. Correct answer. How many had it? 13 of you answering correctly. Okay, that's changing things now. Well, of a choice in Norse mythology, which plant killed the god of Balur? Is it mistletoe, holly, ivy, rose? Okay, 14 correct answers with mistletoe. Uh, 2048 moves into fourth place here. Which of these is a type of fish? Is it a glow, gleam, beam, ray? Forty-six correct answers with Ray. Five incorrect answers there. Okay, uh, Jolene was a hit for which singer? Is it Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, Tammy Wynette, Johnny Cash? Fifty-one correct answers. It is Dolly Parton. Okay, KC is the highest. Answer streak of nineteen. Now. The Edinburgh Festival Fringe uh, starts in which month? May, August, July, October. It is August, is the correct answer. Shell is back with an answer streak of three. Which of these auditioned his wine cellar in 2014? Steve Bruce, Gary Lineker, Wayne Rooney, Alex Ferguson. So which of these auditioned off his wine cellar in 2014? Steve Bruce, Gary Lineker, Wayne Rooney, Alex Ferguson. Thirty-eight correct answers with Alex Ferguson. Okay, question sixty-two. Which of these is Super Mario's girlfriend? Is it Paula, Pauline, Pauline, Pat, Peggy? <coughs> 
Correct answer, 24. If you answered correctly, Pauline's correct answer. Okay, so you've gone into first place here. Uh, what currency symbol is used to represent the Chilean peso? Options below. Correct answers. Okay, see in the lead at the moment. First letter. What is the name of this country? I need the first letter of your answer, not the full spelling. What's the name of this country? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here. It is I for India. 18 correct answers. Which of these films was released earliest? Funny Girl, My Girl, Their Girl, Working Girl. Thirteen correct answers with funny girl. Jenny Mac in the lead, KC second. What day is it third? Twenty forty eight is in fourth and country Mac is in fifth. Well of a choice. Which is a popular dish in occasion cooking? Is it disgusting rice, mucky rice, filthy rice, dirty? Thirty-four correct answers with dirty rice. Well done. Thirty-four teams. 1916 is back with an answer streak of three. In what decade were the Winter Olympics first held? Is it the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s? So in what decade were the Winter Olympics first held? 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s? Sixteen correct answers. The twenties, twenties. Country Max moving up a position. Okay, question sixty-eight. Whose flag is this? I need the first letter of your answer. Whose flag is this? In the country, first letter of your answer. Answers in. Correct answer. Tanzania. 2048 got that one right in the top five. My boy Lollipop made singer Miley's heart go what is it? Boom, bang, a bang, giddy up. Uh, <laughs> Tasha Cardi, or is it whoop whoop?
correct answer it is giddy up uh, 2048, not one of the teams in the top five to answer that correctly. Which of these Disney films is set in France? We did have our Disney quiz there on Sunday. Aristocats, Frozen, The Parent Trap, The Rescuers. Six correct answers. First, the cats is correct answer. First letter, whose logo is this? First letter, no need to spell it out. Here we go. Let's have a look at your answers. W. Wikipedia, 48 correct answers. Okay, home stretch here now. The Hotman Cup is associated with which of these sports? Is it golf, tennis, equestrianism, or is it horse racing? Sixteen correct answers with tennis. Sixteen. Top five answering correctly. Which hit two billion views on YouTube first was it? Elton John Candle in the Wind, Justin Bieber Baby, Taylor Swift's Twenty Two, or PSY's Gangnam Style. Twenty-nine correct answers with the uh, Gangnam Style. Twenty-nine correct answers. Well done. Second place, KC. Not one of those. Uh, Irreplaceable was a hit for which singer? Is it Whitney Houston, Rihanna, Beyonce, Lady Gaga? Irreplaceable. Three correct answers with Beyonce. Okay, twenty forty eight into fifth. Okay, which US state was an independent republic from eighteen thirty six to eighteen forty five? Was it Alaska, Hawaii, Texas, California? So which of these states was an independent republic from eighteen thirty six to eighteen forty five? Alaska, Hawaii, Texas, California. correct answers with Texas Texas country Mac not one of the teams with that one correct which US singer was born with the surname Hudson Kelly Clarkson Nelly Furtado Katy Perry Beyonce Knowles
28 correct answers with Katie Perry. Board.com is back with an answer streak of three. Question 77 of 80. What is the name of this movie? First letter of your answer. What is the name of this movie? First letter in the title. Not in. All sorts of answers. We're looking for B. Back to the Future. Okay, Back to the Future. A C. Not uh, getting that one correct. Which of your five fingernails is believed to grow the fastest? Thumb, index, middle, or ring? So, which of the five fingernails is believed to grow the fastest? Thumb, index, middle, or ring? Fourteen correct answers. It's believed to be the middle finger, believe it or not. Okay, moving into fourth place, 2048. Two questions remain in 2003. Which singer became the first Colombian as well as the youngest ever UNICEF International Goodwill Ambassador? Christina Aguilera, Shakira, Gloria Estefan, Jennifer Lopez. one of you answered this correctly it is Shakira okay top of the pops the highest answer streak of seven as we head for question 80 final question which of these countries does not border Turkey is it Iran Egypt Bulgaria Iraq Three correct answers. Here are the top three teams from tonight's quiz. Third place, what day is it? Second place, KC. First place, you guessed it. Winner in tonight's quiz. It's Janie Mac. Well done. Excellent stuff. Fourth place for 2048. And then country as well there. Fifth. Right, so guys, thank you so much for playing tonight's free quiz. Hope you did enjoy it. As I said to you before, we have a few more quizzes coming up this week. Uh, we have our usual resident gig every Thursday. I want you to get used to that. Nine o'clock every Thursday. Uh, it's a general knowledge. It's five euros per person playing. You can order your pins the usual way. Then on Saturday, we said we have that fundraiser quiz as well. Uh, we're going to be filling in the details of that in the video description on YouTube on how to pay for it. We're not handling the payments or the prizes for that, but we'll explain all about that in the description of the video very soon. And then, as I said, on Sunday, if we can get up to a thousand subscribers, we're going to have our Father Ted quiz. Um, that could be five euros ahead with a cash prize. Or if you can help us promote the channel, we're going to make it a free quiz to you guys and we're going to give up the 100 euros prize for the winners. You have until Sunday morning to try and organize that if you can as well. And uh, if we can do it, great. If not, then we'll have to uh, 
charge the five euros that's all we have time for tonight guys hope you enjoyed the free quiz do share and that we're going to be doing plenty more of these quizzes going forward we want to get as many people involved during this so-called lockdown that's basically what it is until the next time have yourselves a good one we'll see you in the next one do take care bye bye